Viewer discretion is advised. It's the middle of February up here on Long Island, New York, and man, it's still cold as shit outside, but I've been watching a lot of these motivational videos lately, and they said to change your way of thinking, so it's warmer now, it's warmer now, it's warmer now. I... What the... F oh, crap. So much for the power of the mind crap, right? But anyway, Kelly came up with a new Hawaiian quinoa recipe that, oh my God, it's awesome. Let me show you the dressing. All right, any great recipe starts with a great sauce or a great dressing. And I definitely think that Kelly came up with one here. All right, so you're gonna start with a half a cup of pineapple juice. I'm trying to get all the measurements, right? Two tablespoons of mustard. Ah, oh, it's all over my hands and I say I knew this was gonna happen. That's why I wanted to use a teaspoon. And my hands are covered. We're gonna cut for a second so I can get cleaned up. All right, so the mustard debacle's taken care of. Trust me, it'll probably happen again. Uh, I'm gonna say two teaspoon, tablespoons of agave. Now, whatever you do, don't use like log cabin syrup and definitely don't use honey because there's people out there that'll definitely call you a dick. One tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce. We only use the low sodium stuff because, hey, we're heart friendly here. I saw that on a bumper sticker the other day. All right, and one clove of chopped, well, minced garlic. You make these things as small as you want or as small as you like or your family likes. You don't have to follow any, any, anyone else's lead on that. Get yourself a whisk. It's so, so awesome. Kelly has all these different size whisks. She's got this tiny little one that we use to make a, 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 a spicy mayo when we get veg veggie sushi. All right, so you just wanna mix it up. I don't have to tell you how to whisk it. If, if you don't know how to whisk, you're in the wrong place. And the reason why you wanna do something like this nice and early is because you want the flavors to sit together and to marry. Oh, I'm getting hungry. All right, let's get to the cooking the quinoa. All right, first things first, you're gonna to wanna to take care of the sauteing of your peppers and onions. Now we water saute everything. We don't condone the use of oil because oil is just bad for you. Stop asking questions. But anyway, when it comes to your peppers, we do like a nice, you know, chop like that. The onions we like to be nice and meaty because we're not gonna cook the death out of things. We're gonna just get them so the onions are a little translucent and the peppers still have a nice bite to them. But if you wanna dice it, if you wanna do slivers, it's your house, do whatever you want. Oh, I love that sound. That, I'm sure you heard me say it before, is my favorite sound in the whole world. Food hitting a hot pan. All right, so you're just gonna wanna keep moving. You can walk away a little bit, but oh, you're gonna smell those onions when they hit the heat. It's gonna be awesome. All right, let's do a wipe of something or a passage of time so we can get the other stuff in here. All right, so the peppers and onions are the the perfect way we like them. Onions are a little translucent and those peppers have still a little bit of a, of a push to them. And when I say push, they kind of push back at the fork, at the spoon, whatever you're using. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is you wanna add, we started with a cup of quinoa, um, dry, and after it's cooked, it yields about two cups. So you wanna do about two cups of quinoa. Okay, so what we have here is one cup, no, two cups of sodium-free vegetable broth, which I made myself another show uh, you could use two cups of water one cup of quinoa uh, boil the broth first it, it just finished boiling I just turned it uh, boiling and I just turned down the heat mix it and then we season very well you don't need to use salt but you need to use some pepper love garlic powder And a little bit of onion powder. Looks like a lot, but quinoa is very bland, like rice. And if you're not using salt, you really need to jack it up. Okay, simmer 15 to 20 minutes. All the water will be absorbed and it will be ready. She said jacket. And yeah, there's no oil in here. 
So, you have to worry about soaking it up. We water saute everything, like I said. But the onions definitely give off a little juice and the peppers definitely give off a little juice. So you're just kind of mixing and marrying the quinoa with the natural juices of the vegetables. All right, now, this is the absolute coup de gras here. So we use about maybe, I, was it two cups of pineapple or so? One. one. One cup of pineapple. And we use the pineapple chunks. Don't be a fat bastard and get it in syrup because if you get the pineapple in syrup, you're gonna throw off the beautiful dressing that you made. So you want it always in water. Always get your fruit in water. You could flavor it however you want. But we went with pineapple chunks because if you use like a mashed pineapple, yeah, you have the flavor, but you don't have the texture. And half of the, the greatness of pineapple is its beautiful, beautiful texture and its mouthfeel. So you wanna get, you know, pineapple chunks, and you can run your knife through them a couple times just to make them a little smaller, but you're gonna have the flavor in there, but now you're gonna have that amazing pineapple texture. You guys can tell that I don't clean up the stove, that's why I don't care if stuff flies all over the place. All right, so those pineapples are gonna get up to heat pretty quick because using a iron skillet, a cast iron skillet, really, really traps a lot of heat and holds a lot of heat. All right, so now our amazing dressing. Oh man, look how everything comes together. Look at the colors. Now granted, this looks like a fall dish, but believe me, it has spring and summer flavor because it's so, so fresh and so delicious. All right, cool. So you want to just leave this on the heat for a little while and just let everything kind of marry and let everything come together and just come up to a little bit of heat. You want to serve this hot, but let me tell you something. When we were testing this recipe, I had the leftover for breakfast the next day. Oh, mom, the bhutan, it was so, so good. Really, really great, really, really hearty, stick to your bones kind of breakfast, but still light to where you're out the door and you're starting your day. All right, so this is it plated. We like to put it in bowls because, you know, it's quinoa. It's going to go all over the place, but we got a little cute with the with little pineapple slices here. And every good pineapple deserves a good nipple. So, but before we get there, some chopped green onion. Just around the side of the garnish. That goes on both. And of course, I'm not cleaning up so I could drop stuff everywhere if I want to. All right, now here's your choice. You can go with nice macadamia nuts and really be Hawaiian. Or you can go with a seitan based um, vegan bacon. You can use soy bacon, whatever you like. Just make sure it's vegan because like we always say, just because you have to eat, it doesn't mean anything needs to die. All right, so on this one, we're gonna take a little bit of the chopped macadamia nuts. Right in the center there, a little mound. And on this one, a little bit of the bacon. Or the faking as I like to call it. That's gonna be awesome. So. You have two choices, take your pick, hot or cold. This is one of the most amazing quick dishes because it really didn't take that long that we've ever done here. So I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. Please like and share this video, subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notified whenever more of our nonsense comes out. And please tell me what you like to do with quinoa in the comments below. We're always looking for new ideas and new recipes and you never know, you might get a mention on Life with Rob Brazius. Thank you so much guys for stopping by. Have a great day.